Jackson, Mississippi is known as the city with soul since it was home to many blues, gospel, folk, and jazz musicians like Bobby Rush, Melvin Taylor, and Cassandra Wilson. While music is a big part of the city, there are plenty of other things to do in Jackson. In this video, we're going to look at some of the most popular attractions in the city. Visit both state capitals. The first state capitol building in Mississippi was built in 1839 and is one of the most significant historical buildings in the state. The Greek Revival structure features a grand interior and copper dome. It's home to a free museum that illustrates many important moments in the history of the building. The museum is also home to the Mississippi Hall of Fame, honoring many of the state's most notable citizens. The new state capitol was put into use in 1903, with the Beau Arts Building still being home to the state's lawmakers. The new capitol building also offers plenty to explore. The building is built from 10 different types of marble and beautiful stained glass, with splendid frescoes making it a must-see. Check out a petrified forest. If the outdoors is more your style, be sure to check out the Mississippi Petrified Forest. Located just outside Jackson, the easy hiking trails take you into a 36 million year old forest with huge fallen trees long since turned to stone. Along the way, you'll find trail signs and an on-site museum that explain how Mother Nature turned these giant trees to stone with the help of glaciers, floods, and erosion. Pack a picnic lunch to enjoy in the forest and grab a selfie at Caveman's Bench. Just remember the site is protected and you can't remove anything from it. If you want a souvenir to take home with you, buy it at the gift shop. Lafleur's Bluff State Park Another great thing to do in Jackson, Mississippi for outdoor lovers is Lafleur's Bluff State Park. This urban oasis lets you experience nature from within the city limits. The 300-acre state park sits alongside the Pearl River and offers plenty of activities for everyone to enjoy. The park offers a network of well-maintained hiking trails, fishing, and camping. Golfers can hit the greens on the nine-hole course and driving range, and swimmers can take a dip in Mays Lake. The Mississippi Children's Museum and the Museum of Natural Science are also located in the park. Mississippi Children's Museum the Children's Museum is designed to be a place where children can learn through hands-on experience. The museum is located on Jackson's Museum Boulevard and offers a ton of fun activities for kids of all ages. It focuses on science, history, and arts with interactive activities to help kids learn or just have fun. It has permanent exhibits as well as seasonal ones that come and go. Museum of Natural Science the Museum of Natural Science is another fun and educational thing to do in Jackson. The museum offers a ton of interesting information about Mississippi wildlife and its natural habitats as well as a dinosaur exhibit and the world of creepy crawlies. The museum is open every day and is a great activity for rainy days when you don't want to walk around the city getting soaked. Mississippi Museum of Art If you're looking for an indoor activity that's a bit more adult-oriented, check out the Mississippi Museum of Art. Its mission is to connect the power of art to the power of community. Walking through its galleries makes it clear how it achieves this goal. Works from many Mississippi artists are prominently displayed and many depict the troubled themes and topics related to the state's history. These thought-provoking works of art stand alongside exhibits featuring everything from pre-Columbian art to famous artists like Monet, Degas, and Van Gogh. If you want to get a bit of fresh air, check out the water features, lush landscaping, and outdoor dining in the neighboring gardens. Fondren District This hip slice of the city is about three miles from downtown Jackson and has an intriguing history. It was founded and grew near what was once the state's psychiatric hospital. These days, the historic district features galleries, boutiques, bars, and coffee shops. It's the perfect way to spend a day shopping or an evening enjoying good food and drinks. The district also hosts special events regularly. Food tastings, art exhibits, concerts, and book signings are just some of the unique activities you'll find in Fondren. Eudora Welty House and Garden Another historic landmark you'll find in Jackson is the Eudora Welty House and Garden. Welty is one of the most famous and successful authors of the Southern Gothic tradition. She was born in Jackson and lived in the city for most of her life. She became well-known in literary circles in the 1930s after spending some time living in New York. She returned to Jackson during the Great Depression to immerse herself in her writing. The short stories she wrote won many awards, but she's best known for her novel The Optimist's Daughter, which earned her the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1973. Fans of her writing can visit the Tudor Revival home she grew up in. The home is open for guided tours, where you'll see her letters and awards, as well as a typewriter she used for much of her writing. The Freedom Trail 
The Mississippi Freedom Trail is part of the U.S. Civil Rights Trail and passes through Jackson. You'll find markers along the trail designating places where pivotal events happen in the fight for civil rights and racial equity. The Mississippi Civil Rights Museum is a good place to start your trek. It's filled with interactive displays covering everything from the Civil War to the 1970s. These exhibits explain the struggles and sacrifices made by those at the center of the state's civil rights movement. The Medgar and Murley Eversholm National Monument is another important stop along the trail. This is where civil rights activists lived when Medgar was assassinated. The home was designated as a national monument in 2019. Just keep in mind the home is located in a subdivision, so please be respectful of the neighbors who still live there. Mississippi Civil Rights Museum Mississippi was key to the civil rights movement between 1945 and 1970. The Mississippi Civil Rights Museum offers many galleries and exhibitions about those years. The galleries are linked by dark tunnels representing Mississippi's dark periods of history. You'll progress from the Mississippi Freedom Struggle to Mississippi in Black and White and end up in a gallery called Where Do We Go From Here? Check out some great Southern cuisine. In downtown Jackson, the legendary Mayflower Cafe is a great option. It's been featured in several big Hollywood movies, including The Help, and has been serving up Greek-inspired dishes since 1935. Or for some classic Southern barbecue, check out the rib tips and smoked wings at e l Barbecue. After a good meal, Brent's Drugs is a great spot to stop for some dessert. The soda fountain has been in business since 1946 and serves delicious ice cream sundaes, hand-dipped milkshakes, and homemade pie. And if you're looking for something a little stronger after a good meal, the pharmacy's former stockroom is home to the Apothecary, one of Jackson's most acclaimed cocktail bars. Live music Jackson is known as the city with soul thanks to its rich musical history. Blues, jazz, and rock and roll all have roots in Mississippi, with musicians like Robert Johnson, B.B. King, and Muddy Waters calling the state home. F. Jones Corner is a great music room that serves cold beer, pub food, and great blues. If you're feeling bold, they even offer an open mic night. And Dueling Hall, a former elementary school, is one of Jackson's most renowned venues. It's a bigger place that brings in big names from all kinds of musical genres. Jackson Zoo At the Jackson Zoo, you'll find over 300 animal species, several of which are endangered in the wild. The zoo offers great educational opportunities for kids while giving you an up-close view of animals you won't see every day. Cathead Distillery It might come as a surprise, but Mississippi was the last state to repeal the Prohibition Act, and it didn't happen until 1966. 104 years after Prohibition was enacted, two enterprising partners opened Mississippi's first and only distillery, Cathead Distillery. Cathead offers a tour that explains the history of Prohibition in Mississippi, as well as details of the process it uses to make its fine alcohols. You can get a tastier flight that lets you try several of Cathead's offerings, including vodka, gin, and bourbon. The distillery also hosts various events throughout the year and serves up some pretty great cocktails. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Jackson? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.